Hi friends, this is me trying out the vlogging world. Um, I've been encouraged by a friend to um, try this. I've been encouraged by other friends to write a book. Um, and I, I like this idea of trying to vlog first. Um, I've kept a, a blog um, for lots of years. It's not, um, it's mostly just for my family, but I'm going to try to put some um, helps out there for parents, for teachers, and so this is my first try at that today. Um, just want to introduce myself just a little bit. Um, most people know me uh, by either Miss Dory or Aunt Dory. I have a lot of nephews and nieces that I like to hang out with. Um, I teach at a university lab school, and so I have a lot of university students as well as what I refer to as littles uh, that I work with on a, on a daily basis. I pretty much have a mecha job. I get to work with adults and help them, um, help train them with how to work with children as well as work with children. So um, I'm gonna try this out. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about adultification. Uh, yeah, you heard me right, but in this context, this word um, means how we talk to children. Normally we talk to them as we talk to other adults, which is why we call it adultification. Um, but today we're going to talk a little bit about why. Why we don't talk to children the same way we talk to adults. This does not mean we talk to them like babies, but we do talk to them literally so that they can understand what is meant by our requests, our um, instructions, etc. One of the things that uh, my, my teachers um, really struggle with at the beginning of the semester is all the choices that they are for children, because we all know that choices are good for children. But choices are good for children when they understand that they do have a choice. Many times as adults, we offer them choices when in reality, it's not a choice, right? So we have to try to figure that out as the adult and prepare the environment so then the kids can be successful in what we're asking them to do. Great example is um, sometimes the teachers, as they're trying to get the children to clean up, will say, well, can you push in your chair? Can you walk to the carpet, right? And boom, there's, they're, they're, they just turn around and say no. And the teachers are mortified that these kids have just been so rude to them. <laughs> so we have a little conversation about they're not being rude. You just offered a choice that really wasn't a choice. And so this is where that adultification piece comes in, is we have to talk to children um, in a way that they understand, Right? Many times we talk to adults, if you were to say to me, hey Dory, would you mind pushing the chair in? I'm like, okay. I transfer that in my brain that says, she just told me to push in the chair, right? But she doesn't want to be rude about it. Um, and so we do that same thing with children when they're thinking, oh, I have a choice and I don't really want to, so I'm not going to, right? And we think they're rude, when in reality, they're not being rude at all. They're just saying no. They don't want to because they don't understand what I'm really trying to say to them, right? Because of their schema, because of their experience, they haven't been here very long. They haven't figured out all the nuances, all those different things that we use as adults. So today, as you're visiting with your nephews, with your nieces, with your children, with your um, kids in your classroom, just try it out today. Give them that, give them that sense of, I know what I'm doing when I talk to children. And so if it's not a choice, don't make it a choice. If you're nervous about it sounding rude, which is what most teachers do, they're like, well, I think that sounds so rude when I just say push in your chair. Well, it is rude if you say push in your chair, but if you say, hey, buddy, push in your chair. And I always give the why behind it because I think that kids um, sometimes frustrate adults with all their questions of, well, why, 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 right? So I have learned um, that I always give the why when I give the instruction. So I will say, hey, buddy, Push in your chair so that nobody else trips on it. My job as your teacher, as your mother, as your parent, as your aunt is to keep you safe. So if you push that in, then so but nobody else will trip on it. So work on two things today. Get our alt adultification, uh, work on our adultification so that we're talking to children so that they understand in that literal sense and tell them the why behind it as you give that instruction. Make it a great day, friends.